Mix. Hot 99.1. Hip hop, hip hop, hop, hip hop, and R&B heat. And your home for Russ Parr in the morning. It's Russ Parr Morning Show, and uh, I love that. Lil Wayne did his thing with uh, Monica on that joint. Got the album coming out soon. But we have Monica on the line. Uh, Monica, we've been having this big debate all morning long. Yeah. And Monica, if you want to pass, if you want to pass on judgment, we're not asking you to judge. We want to get your opinion. But we have this debate about Sierra, who I know you're a friend of, and and future and you know everybody's from the from the atl you know music scene so you guys all have kind of like a connection but the big argument on my show with the listeners has been about the fact that um you know little future had on russell wilson's like a, a jersey like his and they're taking pictures and so on and so forth do you find any problem with that you know what even with the people i love i have learned the best thing you can do is make it your business to mind your business oh every I like family I'm so serious. Yep. Yeah, every family, I, and I say this because I genuinely, I've always loved her. I've always loved. I even, you know, even me having a connection with the two of them separately. Mm-hmm. It's just something that I've always felt like is an individual choice that has to be made in your house between you and the people that, you know, for me, I was a single parent when I met my husband Mm -hmm. and I just went about things the way that I knew was best for us. You know, we spoke about what would be great time. And then all of us as parents, we knew that we had to create the uh, comfortability for the kids amongst us. And we kept other people out of it, Mm -hmm. you know, so I'm just happy to see that she's happy that she's in love and, you know, any other choices and decisions, they're going to be between them two. Right. And you know what, you know, there's no other way. You know, I feel bad about the fact that I have this job and I have to get in people's business. But I love it. But you know know what? I think, I think, I think sometimes outside people can be too consumed. Yeah. You know, like for instance, recently, you know, I you can you can almost be in a situation where you say something. Mm-hmm. It can be so sincerely from your heart. That's going to be talked about. That's a whole new subject to be judged. Wow. Yep. And it's so unfair because people people are no longer comfortable with having voice. I, I don't believe in letting anybody take my voice from me, but I do wholeheartedly feel what I just said. Mm-hmm. I was on the red carpet and they asked me, they were like, well, how do you feel? You have a daughter. How do you feel about Kylie and Tiger? I'm like, are you serious right now? <laughs> like, that is for Chris Jenner to, to stay, be focused on. Mm-hmm. Like, Leia's a year old. I I hadn't thought about a boy in her, to be quite honest. Yeah. So when you think about the bigger picture, mm-hmm. we know that we're up for public debate. Yep. But me as another artist and another fellow individual, I just keep praying for all of them. I go. keep pushing for all of them because it's hard enough that we're living in front of you. We're trying to figure it out on our own, too. There you mm-hmm. go. And we'll have to keep talking about them. But listen, right. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, you know I've always kept it real with you. I'm excited about this single. I, I know you don't have a timetable when the album's going to come out, but are you in studio? You got, you got half of it done? Or where, where are we at with it? I'm done. You know, I'm old school. <laughs> I'm scared to even, <laughs> you know, I'm so old school with it. Like, I'm I'm afraid to even give you a little piece if I don't have the rest. Right. Because if you put the record out and then it takes off, you don't have anything to follow. There you go. So we've actually been mixing and mastering. And that's what I, I've not been to bed. Uh, I put the kids to bed and went back to the studio mm. and um, just stayed through the mixing and mastering, making sure stuff sounded like I wanted to. And, um, I didn't even close my eyes yet because I'm like, I want it to be a good representation of who I am. Like, I named the album Cold Red because I feel like there's a state of emergency for R&B and soul music. You know, that music that I love, the music I grew up on. We got married, we had kids too, all that stuff. So for me, I always say it's it's in a state of emergency and I as one artist cannot save the whole, the whole genre of music. Absolutely. But I can fight for it. Absolutely. I can remind these kids that there's so much great music you've yet to even hear. And I was fortunate to come up being able to talk to Gladys Knight or Patti LaBelle and, and, and really be uh, schooled and groomed in a sense to respect yeah. what the music really is outside of me. So this album is way, way, way different mm. just in the sense that 
I didn't hesitate to try different things, but it's all based on that same music right. and substance that we love. So it's done. Yeah, I'm well, just mixing it uh, Well, listen, when it's done, you got to make sure you come on my show and we'll play the whole album. Monica, I, I really, we, you know, I love you. And I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us this morning, okay? No, I love you guys. And I thank you for supporting me for so many years. Oh, it's been I a while. Mean, sometimes if you don't have a hit record, you can't get get a call through on the back line. Oh, no, but I got I you. <laughs> you get through here, you know that. You know how the game goes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you know I do. How the game goes. But of course, you know, we would never play that game with you. Girl, you know I got love for you. And good luck with the album. I'll talk with you soon, all right? All right. Bye-bye, right. y'all. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.